And of course, Brooklyn, neck and neck at the top. They're tied in first place. Well, I think for Brooklyn, they've just been relentless coming out of the gates. And what I love is that everyone is focused. You couldn't have asked for a better start. Yeah, they're using that F word, focus. A lot of teams suffer from a lack of concentration in the early part of the season, but not this team. They're ready to play right from the opening tip of the very go. first game. And now the Washington Wizards starters at the two and the three, Avdia and Poole. Kuzma, the four, down low with Gafford next to him. And it's Jones in a point guard. And then for the Brooklyn Nets, Bridges and Johnson work as the forwards. Then it's Cam Thomas. Then it's Nicholas Claxton. And it's Dinwiddie in at the point. Now here's Kuzma. Just five on the clock. Avdia from outside. Claxton with a rebound. And without a superstar scorer, Grant, the question has always been, how does this Nets team generate enough offense? Yeah, well, hero ball is not going to work. I mean, they've got to push the pace and trust one another and go from good shot to great shot. And he'll take a trip to the line for two. Clearly got fouled on that shot. And the foul called on the Washington Wizards. Opening day of the regular season, Grant. Nothing quite like this first one of the year. You know, as a former player, you know firsthand that there's so much anticipation and hard work that goes Two into shots. making it to opening day. So everyone right now is on a level playing field, and the dream is still alive. And he drops a first. And Grant, for years, the Wizards resisted calls to rebuild. But things changed this summer. Yeah, B.A., and even though the return for their stars wasn't as dramatic as we saw for teams like the Jazz, I think there's a sense of relief in D.C. that the organization is resetting and trying something new. So he gets them both. This is hard to believe, Grant, but the Wizards haven't been to the conference finals since 1979. It is hard to believe. I mean, they've had some fantastic players over the years. But let me tell you, these fans in my hometown are hungry for a deep playoff run. Now here's Jones. His last outing, he had 20. Pass to Avdia. The three. He buries it from three. And Poole's vision developing right in front of us. And just over a minute played here to start the game. Dinwiddie against Jones. Here's Thomas. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. That'll belong to Kyle Kuzma. That free throw, no good. And Grant, this Nets team trying to set their identity at the defensive end of the floor. Yeah, well, with the players they have on the wings, led by Mikael Bridges, they have the personnel to be disruptive, long, mobile, and switchable. They give you lots of trouble. And he's good on the second. Washington's gone one or two from three-point land so far. Jones against Dinwiddie. Pass to Poole. Takes a three. Claxton with a rebound. Brooklyn with the ball. Their last meeting was in this building. They were able to come out on top. Yeah, they destroyed this team on the glass in the last meeting. And setting the tempo with an assertive move, like... Where was the defense on that play? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Now here's Poole. 23 points for him last game against Philadelphia. And pushing it up the floor. Here comes Brooklyn. That one goes in. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. Jones up top. He's covered by Dinwiddie. Jones' his shot is good. Now that's what I call great basketball. Finding a way to get all the way inside. Man, that's a, a painted possession right there. A masterpiece, especially when the defense is not a factor. It's blocked. 
And as it goes out of bounds, Brooklyn able to keep possession. And that shot was going nowhere thanks to that aggressive swat. I mean, letting them know up front that he's on the hunt tonight and eager to knock away shots. I love it. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes played so far. Dinwiddie outside. Off target from outside. And it's Poole with the ball for the Wizards. Trailing by two. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Well, as a champion and a 20-point per game score, Kyle Kuzma has exceeded all expectations, Brent. Well, I like the recovery of Kyle Kuzma. You know, he had the early years where he was successful and then maybe lost himself in some things and has found his way back to a consistency that I think the organization he plays for is appreciating. They call him Clutch Kuz for a reason. He does love those big moments. these little attributes to Kyle Kuzma's game that you start to see show themselves he's developing as a passer and as a rebounder I think his best basketball is still ahead of him here's Thomas from 10 feet away and Gafford with the block that's good from Jones and the assist by Avdia Jones has got his second bucket on the night Brooklyn trailing Now Dinwiddie, he's coming off a 13-point game against the Hawks in Atlanta. Pass to Thomas. Six on the shot clock. Boom! He jams it straight down. A brilliant dunk, and he hangs up there for a while, too. Like he's posing for the camera. He's just hanging out, posing for pictures, just making himself at home. Gafford with a screen on Johnson. Kuzma, the pass to Gafford. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It's going to be on Cameron Johnson. Great job drawing the foul and almost converted the shot as well. Good on that one. Finney Smith's checked in for Johnson. And he can't hit the second. The Nets have gone three of six from the floor. Finney Smith passes to Dinwiddie. pulls it in he creates such a great opportunity right at the rim and he just can't get it to go even with the defense not really a factor now here's Poole get to see a basket and here's Claxton Dinwiddie passes to Thomas and Gafford with the block outside Jones And there's the drive. Count that one. And despite the height disadvantage, oh my, he just attacks that interior. Yeah, no stopping him on that play. Sometimes even the taller defenders are helpless to stop him. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Wizards. They've been really going at the defense in the painted area. And so far, the opposition really hasn't had an answer for them. Let's make sure that that selfish nerve doesn't get tapped because right now there's great ball movement. They're setting each other up. Let's see if that maintains. Well, the Nets shooting just 38% so far in this one. Trying to find a spark here. 
Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Goes up on the baseline. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's going to go on Jordan Poole. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And that's good as he hits both shots. Here's Kuzma. Coming off a 16-point game against Philadelphia. Yeah, but all around offensively, the performance was great. He knew when he had it going, but he also knew he could get other guys going. So his passing right up there on the level with his scoring. And Bridges against Atlanta. He was really on his game. Three pointer. Rebound Washington. This is a rough stretch right here for him offensively. Seems to be rushing shots. Pool a screen on Dinwiddie. Here's Jones. He's got it. Four for four now. He's automatic. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. Brooklyn has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Bridges outside. The shake. And as it goes out of bounds, Brooklyn able to keep possession. Dinwiddie passes to Finney Smith. Here's Thomas. Five to shoot. Screen by Claxton. Here's Bridges. Goes back up. And Claxton gets the bucket. Claxton's got six. A stronger defensive presence would have saved them two points. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. And Gafford gets it to go on the assist from Jones. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Here's Thomas. Five points in the game. Pass to Dinwiddie. Out to Bridges. Over Avdia. Bridges can't get that one to fall. Give him a little credit. Take some guts to keep shooting if you're struggling this bad. It's getting a little bit ugly right now. Gafford the screen. Here's Jones, and there are the Wizards with another bucket. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Pass to Dinwiddie. Back to Bridges. Kuzma with a double team. Launches a three. Nice shot by Finney Smith. Well, he passes to the wide open man, Bridges, developing some team chemistry. And it's Jones with the ball for the Wizards. Three point lead, out of bounds. It'll be Brooklyn's ball. And here's a look at the top shooters last season. No wasted chances among this group. Well, you look at Claxton topping the chart with his efficiency. And last year, he led the league in field goal percentage, allowing the game to come naturally and taking whatever opposing teams gave to him. O'Neal, he's checked in for Bridges. Gallinari, he's checked in for Washington. Dinwiddie with a screen on Poole. And it's Thomas off the drive. And stolen by Jones. Oh, 
Takes a 13-footer. And no good. Excellent D there from Dinwiddie. Brooklyn has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Here's Thomas. And he sinks the 11-footer. Thomas has got seven points. For Washington, they've got eight of 13 attempts to go. It's Avdia on the wing. In his last outing, eight points for him. Shoots from the line. That one misses. He's one for three. Well, it's a make or miss league. Sometimes the Jays just don't fall. It wasn't a bad shot. Dinwiddie against Jones. Screened by Claxton. Now here's Finney Smith. He picked up 15 in their last win against the Hawks in Atlanta. And he hits it and gets hacked. A three-point chance here if he can convert. And that's exactly how you attack length. I love how he doesn't lack assertiveness. Yeah, hard to stop it there if you're the big man. That's just too good a shot and great concentration. One shot. Free throw, no good. Washington trailing. Pool from long range. Second shot opportunity. Blocked! Thomas passes to Dinwiddie. Back to Thomas. Screen by Claxton. And he knocks down the first one. They're really not doing themselves any favors picking up this many fouls so early. Watford's checked in for Brooklyn. Muscala, he's checked in for Washington. It's both from the stripe. Now a timeout called by Washington. And the other team is running all over them right now. The timeout before the timeout here, maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit-chat with the team to settle down. Here's Kispert coming off a 16-point game against Philadelphia. Outside Gallinari. Pass to Koulibaly. That's tipped. Here's O'Neal. No made baskets yet. Dinwiddie passes to Watford. Here's O'Neal. Beyond the arc. Kispert grabs a miss. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that opening. And when it comes to Royce O'Neal, there's a reason this guy plays big minutes, Grant. Well, B.A., it's all because he has the trust of his teammates and his coaches. Just a high IQ guy who never plays in a rush. Dinwiddie passes to Claxton. Back to Dinwiddie. Down low. Here's Watford. Count it. Now any possession that ends in a shot from that range after good player and ball movement, that's a good one. Dinwiddie against Poole. Galladari for three. Rebounded by the Nets. Claxton's got a sixth rebound on the night. Dinwiddie outside. Pass to Watford. 
Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. Six to shoot. The Nets need to get off a shot here. Three-pointer O'Neal. Gallinari pulls it in. And so Gallinari will bring it up for Washington. Trailing by two. Pulls up. And Muscala gets it to go. A minute six left in the first quarter. Dinwiddie against Poole. Back to Watford. Pass to O'Neal. And here's Finney Smith. Finney Smith, a screen. Shot clock at six. Here's Watford. And the layup is good. Watford's got his second basket on the night. The D hasn't been quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's helped cause this run. 35 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Poole. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. It's on Nick Claxton. And Poole playing aggressive on the inside, just forcing the defense to come at him. Well, from late first round pick to big time score, the rise of Jordan Poole has been fun. Well, he earned himself a pretty lucrative contract after a couple of years of trying to figure out what it is that he does best. I think we know what that is, B.A. Put points on the board. This guy plays with a ton of offensive confidence. First one falls for him. And Jordan Poole has stepped onto the NBA stage and not ever backed down from a challenge. He plays with tremendous confidence. Sharp, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Mikhail Bridges comes in for Dinwiddie. And a change for the Wizards. Kuzma's checked in. He's perfect from the line this time. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. We've got 22 seconds left to play in the first. Screen by O'Neal. O'Neal on the wing. Pass to Watford. Here's Finney Smith. Blocked! And how about Kuzma? The defensive energy he showed to get to that block. And here's Kispert from the arc. Pure from three-point range. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. It's the Wizards up three. And quarter number two will get underway just after this short break. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. And what do you think about how the Wizards are doing here? It's simple. When you can protect the rim the way they have, it's a big advantage. Yeah, you can't be careless with your shot selection out there because some of them are getting thrown back. Brooklyn trailing. They've got Trendon Watford. Dorian Finney-Smith is out there with Royce O'Neal. Then it's Mikhail Bridges. And it's Sharp in at the center position. So that's the Nets five. Pass to Bridges. Knocked loose. Here's O'Neal. The three is up. Drains the triple. O'Neal's got himself on the board with a three there. That's just a lapse right there. No matter what, somebody has to be there and get a hand up in the shooter's face. The drive by Butler. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. The three-point shot changed the game, clearly. But did you see it becoming the centerpiece of so many teams' offense, Brent? I think it was inevitable in a way, B.A., but the way it got introduced to the league and the way that the seven seconds or less Phoenix Suns adapted to the three-point line and then eventually what the Rockets were doing, it kind of came in like a flood. And each year we're seeing more and more guys who you wouldn't think should be shooting threes now capable of not only taking them but making them and so that goes for every position that makes the game very dangerous
Butler hits them both. Well, the Nets shoot got a decent clip. 45% for the game. Here's Watford. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. The Wizards with a lead. Butler with the ball. Kuzma for three. O'Neal pulls it in. And about a minute gone in the second quarter. Bridges passes to Watford. Back to Bridges. Over Kuzma. Bridges misses. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Here's Kispert. Pass to Kuzma from the arc. Count it. Two for four from the field now. And that's a learned skill from Kuzma. Not all forwards can get rid of it like that. Timeout called. Brooklyn. Man, I love watching Kispert do his thing up and down the court, Brent. Well, he's got all the tools and I think just natural progression towards the end of last season. The way that Corey was playing, I think he gained a lot of confidence as to how he could contribute offensively every night for this team. And it's the 2K leaderboard. Team leaders in blocks last season. Number one, the Nets. They built a reputation around the league last season. Do not test them at the rim. Second quarter, a little over a minute and a half in. Here's Bridges, and the Nets miss again. D giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Mikel Bridges is a premier defender. He said, quote, people take it for granted how tough it is to guard the top perimeter players in this league and not be able to really touch them because they're going to get the foul call. You've got to guard these matchups one-on-one, -on -one, and I think we get taken for granted. B.A., he's on point. Yeah, he does have a point there. Thanks, Alec. Here's Watford. Pass to Bridges. Back to Watford. Just four to shoot. Here's O'Neal. 4-3. Buries it. He's two for four in this game. Shut out from beyond the arc in the first quarter. He's now got two for the game. Second quarter play. Almost three minutes gone here. Here's Kispert. Brooklyn with the board. Ooh, old school right there. No easy buckets. Out to Bridges. Outside Finney Smith. Back to Bridges. Brooklyn making some changes. Johnson, he's checked in for Sharp. And it's Thomas in for Watford. Avdia, he's checked in for Washington. Jones comes in for Butler.
Pass to Finney Smith. Now here's Johnson. Shot clock at five. Deflected! And they forced the shot clock violation. Great D. The Wizards have gotten only one of four shots to go in. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Pass to Jones. Takes the three. It goes again. His sixth basket in seven tries. You like how their perimeter game is building out. They're feeling it right now. Bridges passes to Thomas. Bridges, a screen on Jones. Here's Thomas. And again, it's the Nets missing. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. Here's Muscala. Pass to Kispert. Here's Avdia, covered by Johnson. Muscala, the screen, tries to spin move. Jones from outside. Finney Smith pulls it in. Finney Smith's got four rebounds now. O'Neal passes to Bridges. Screen by Bridges. Here's Thomas. And the layup falls. Thomas has got 11 points. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. Muscala the screen. Kuzma for three. Brooklyn with the board. Teammates right now covering up for the type of off performance he's having. In terms of scoring, this has not been his best night. Now here's Bridges. He's scoreless. Got a hand on it. I, I just, I've not seen him shoot this poorly, guys, in a game this season. Kuzma outside. Knocked away. And we're going to have a jump ball. Muscala, the pass to Jones. Down to five on the shot clock. The Wizards need to get off a shot here. And here's Kispert from the arc. The rebound by the Nets. Kenny Smith's got five rebounds in the game. Pass to Thomas. Back to Finney Smith. Here's O'Neal. Here's Thomas, covered by Muscala. Bridges passes to Johnson. Over Jones. The shot by Johnson, no good. The Wizards have gotten only two of eight field goals to go in the second. To the middle. Nice D from Bridges. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for Brooklyn. It's a three-point game. When this one's in the books, they'll be off to Sacramento, taking on the Kings. That kicks off a five-game road trip for the club. People talk about three and D with Bridges, but he can pass it, too. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. And the Nets making a change here. Claxton's checked in. And the Wizards making a change here as well. Gafford's checked in.
Washington's gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. Pass to Abdia. Here's Kispert. Now Kuzma. Tipped away. Johnson with the defensive effort. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Well, if you're giving up that much height, the only thing that you can do as a defender is to foul him. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for Brooklyn. Well, guys, early on, they're driving the lane constantly, using their quickness to gain an advantage. Look at their Find points the off penetration. Well, a lot of the players are doing a good job as well of scanning the interior part of the paint. All those inside looks, those are paying off. Washington trailing. Poole outside. They still need this. Claxton with a rebound. Claxton's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Pass to Dinwiddie. And here's Claxton. Screen by Claxton. Thomas passes to Claxton. Oh, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and a nasty jam. Excellent movement on the play. The pass on time and on point. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. And again, Washington, no good. I hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. And the three-pointer goes. Doing a lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them this lead, and now he's helped them keep it. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. Good idea to call timeout. It looked like the guys were getting some heavy legs out there. A quick break, and we look at our 2K leaderboard for three-point shooting last season. Number five, Brooklyn. That kind of efficiency from range is generally an indicator of a dominant offense. Pool outside. Clock at six. Pass to Jones. Can they get it? Ooh, he's found his rhythm. Seven for ten and counting. <laughs> Even against tight defense, he is so good from out there. Dinwiddie outside. Back to Thomas. High post Claxton. Pass to Thomas. From deep. Gallinari pulls it in. And so Gallinari will bring it up for Washington. Jones with the ball. Here's Avdia. Now Gallinari. Still without a bucket. Here's O'Neal. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Man, the defender really went after him. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And the Wizards making a change here. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Well, the Wizards shooting around 41%. Jones against Dinwiddie. Gallinari with a screen on Dinwiddie. Jones, his shot is good. 
Jones has got eight points in the quarter. Well, that basket must be widening out right now. And he's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Dinwiddie against Jones. Johnson passes to Thomas. Gallinari pulls it in. Pass to Poole. Now here's Jones. Let's it go from deep. That one goes. And that's his ninth made shot in 12 attempts. Yeah, Poole becoming a better distributor of the basketball. So finding those chances and trying to get guys better looks, that's part of his game. Screen by O'Neal. It's Thomas on the wing, guarded by Poole. Here's O'Neal. Nine points in the game. And here's Dinwiddie from the arc. He drains that one after two misses. Now one for three. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Now here's Jones. He's got 22. Pass to Poole from deep. And the Wizards with another three. Backing up that last three with another three. The defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks. Timeout, timeout. Brooklyn calls timeout. Kale Bridges checked in for O'Neal. And the Wizards making a change here as well. Kuzma's checked in for Gallinari. There's a minute 26 left in the first half. Dinwiddie outside. Pass to Thomas. Dinwiddie with a screen on Poole. 14 feet away. Thomas, that's good. Thomas has got 16 points now. When he decides he wants to take it to the bucket, it's really hard for anyone to slow him down. Here's Poole. And a foul call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And Poole just blowing through contact. First one falls. Both good from the line that time. Brooklyn has gone four of six from outside. Looking sharp here in the second. Here's Thomas, guarded by Poole. Dinwiddie left side. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Dinwiddie's got five points now this quarter. There's 45 seconds left in the half. Now here's Poole. Defense is right there. Pass to Avdia. Back to Poole. Five on the clock. Jones with the ball. He's covered by Dinwiddie. From the high post. That's good from Jones. And the assist by Poole. Poole's got five assists tonight. Yeah, you got to get up tighter than that. Some players you, you can give that much room to, but not him. Here's Thomas. Guarded by Poole. Screen by Claxton. Here's Thomas. Knocks down the long J. Thomas has got 19 points. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. It's the Nets up by three. 
and we'll be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit. And with one half in the books, let's take a glance at some of the other games in progress around the NBA. Here's a hypothetical. If you guys were in your prime today and could hop onto any team, who would you pick? Hmm, that's interesting, Ernie. Maybe I'd go back to Houston. I'd, I'd give them a boost. The boost, they need a, they need a jet. You wouldn't give the Rockets a boost. You'd give them a malfunction. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Kenny's back. No, Kenny's they already back. have a problem. I'd be the one to help solve that problem. Thank you. I just enjoy sitting here listening. And guys, let's take a look at the Wizards in that first half. Neither side able to build a significant lead through two. They're giving up loads of threes. You can see that. Defensively, it's like they're a step too late. Too often. Yeah, as a coach, you want to see the effort from your guys. They weren't terrible in the first half, but we know they have more to give. That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's send you over to Brian Anderson with the third period. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Tyus Jones really making a difference here. I like how they control the tempo and play to his strengths. Now this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. The Nets with the lead. Here's who Wes Unsell Jr. is starting in the second half. Kuzma, the four, down low with Gafford next to him. Jones and Poole teaming up in the backcourt. And it's Avdia in at the small forward position. Denwitty gets the bucket. Showing off with the floater game. Not a shot you can swat. Jones against Denwitty. Here's Avdia, who poked away. And here's Poole. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. Yeah, I love that they maintain the defensive energy even when they're behind. Just five to shoot from deep three-point range. Here's Gafford. Nails the baby hook. Gafford's gotten his second bucket. The hard work on the offensive glass. You can see the coaching staff rise up and clap for that effort. Jones against Dinwiddie. Now here's Johnson. Here's Thomas. Good. And he's hit 8 of 14 now. A solid offensive performance. Washington trailing. Jones with the ball. 24 points for him. It's Kuzma with the miss. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Here's Thomas. Gafford grabs the miss. Gafford's got four rebounds now. Avdia passes to Poole. Back to Avdia. Pass to Poole. Gafford with a screen on Johnson. They grab their own miss. Jones from outside. Nails it from three. Jones has got 27. 
That's pretty much not how they want to defend the three-point line. Somebody's got to shadow him out there. Here's Thomas, guarded by Poole. Here's Dinwiddie. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Throw good, Dinwiddie. Yeah. And so he makes both from the line. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Jones against Dinwiddie. Poole for three. Look at Poole showing the range. And Poole is such a tough and dynamic three-point shooter. He's comfortable firing from anywhere. Dinwiddie passes to Thomas. Back to Dinwiddie. Over Jones. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Dinwiddie. Time, out, time, time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. He recognized his players were fatigued and needed time to catch their breath. And now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. Now here's Poole. Defense right on him. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. For Brooklyn, they've gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Here's Thomas, guarded by Poole. Screened by Claxton. Thomas passes to Dinwiddie. Ooh, powered down with both hands. Just great offense. The screen freeing him up for the slam. Hey, without that screen, he doesn't get a clean look at the rim. Yeah, well, he settled for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Brian, the Wizards are building. Coach Wes Unsell Jr. said the biggest triumph isn't found in win-loss record. It's knowing that we're growing in the right direction, finding joy and purpose in what we do. He said you can feel the collective spirit. You can see our connectivity, which means we're on the right track. That's something we can be proud of. All right, Allie, thanks. Now here's Jones. He's got 27. Gafford. Dinwiddie with a rebound. Well, you could tell right there he just wanted to go for the jam, but the defense too good and distracting. Pass to Thomas. Dinwiddie with a screen on pool. Here's Thomas. Off target with the three. And so it's Kuzma who brings up the ball for Washington. Now here's Poole. Tight defense on him. Now Jones. It's Abdia on the wing. And again, Washington, no good. Brooklyn has gotten 6 of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. Johnson passes to Thomas. Here's Denwitty. It's Bridges on the wing. Over Abdia. Misses off the left iron. Most nights this shot would have been his, but the defender gave him just enough trouble. against Dinwiddie. Pass to Claxton. Dinwiddie against Poole. Johnson with it. Six to shoot. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Dinwiddie. Johnson's got his second basket of the night. You gotta try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Gafford with a screen on Bridges. Avdia, good. 
Oh, you gotta love the back and forth, showing real confidence at the arc. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Dinwiddie passes to Thomas. Oh, some solid defense from Poole. Washington has gotten three of six threes to fall in the third quarter. And Kuzma the bucket on the assist by Poole. Poole's got his sixth assist of the night. Love the hustle Kuzma's playing with here. Show that they're capping off the break. Now here's Dinwiddie. 11 points in the game. Bridges outside. Pass to Thomas. The deep three. And the call will be against Nicholas Claxton. That'll be a second foul of the game. O'Neal, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Gallinari, he's checked in for Washington. The Wizards have gotten 5 of 12 shots to drop in the third. Dinwiddie against Jones. Now Poole. He's got 13. Jones misses. Well, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that. And that's a bad miscue. And you can't give up looks like that all game long. Claxton passes to Dinwiddie. Pass to Johnson. Yes! And a nice assist from Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie's got three assists in the game. Poole outside. That one a little long. Maybe there are ways to contribute that don't involve shooting the basketball. That's the best way that maybe he can help them out in trying to win this game. Here's O'Neal. He's got nine. Well, a careless foul. That'll send him to the line for three free throws. Well, Cam Johnson's such a deadly three-point shooter. If he's able to get to the line, it can make him an elite scorer. All right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Nets. I mean, they've played some beautiful basketball all game. The passing has been impressive, and it's opened up things with their ball movement. We probably have to touch on as well that tonight their penetration has been awesome. I mean, they put force on this game, attacking off the bounce, and a willingness to do that has paid off. And he's good on the first of three. He hits the second from the line. And really strong at the line since the break. And he makes all three. Here's Jones. 27 points for him. Inside, Poole. Poole work in the interior. Poole does a great job there just extending and using his length to have an advantage on that shot. Dinwiddie against Jones. To the paint. The rebound by the Wizards. Obdi has got four rebounds in the game. Pass to Jones. He takes it in. It's Avdia on the wing, covered by Johnson. Avdia passes to Gallinari. Misses the three. And so Dinwiddie will bring it up for the Nets. They lead by four. Here's O'Neal. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. O'Neal's got 11 points. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. And the Wizards shooting a disappointing 38%. Dinwiddie against Jones. Pool outside. Avdia from outside. Brooklyn with the board. Claxton's got rebound number 13 tonight with that one. Here's O'Neal. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. 
And the Nets making a change here. Finney Smith's checked in. And the Wizards making a change here as well. Muscala's checked in. And that one misses. Washington trailing. Pool outside. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Good pool. And both free throws good for pool. Here's Denwitty. Eleven points in the game. Pass to Thomas. Driving in. Hook loose. Out of bounds. It'll be Washington's ball. Sharp. He's checked in for Brooklyn. Watford comes in for Thomas. And for Washington, they're shooting 44%. A pretty decent clip. Here's Kispert. From the baseline. No good off the back of the rim. Sharp passes to O'Neal. Outside Finney Smith. Let's the three fly. Washington with a rebound. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. They set the pick. To the inside. And he goes in for the dunk. Look at the power on that. He has to be one of the top dunkers in the game today. Here's O'Neal. He's got 13. Inside, Dinwiddie. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. They're doing great work at the free throw line this half. That bodes well for their chances to close out this game. Cool against Dinwiddie. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul and he'll take two free throws now. Good. Pool. Bridges. He's checked in for Dinwiddie. And the Wizards making a change here as well. Kuzma's checked in for Gallinari. And both free throws good for Pool. And we've seen some good free throw shooting in the second half. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for the Nets. It's a five point game. They set the screen. To the paint. Here's Sharp. And the Nets tack on two more. They've been a little soft with their defense on the interior. The Wizards shooting 37% since the beginning of the third quarter. And here's Poole. 19 points in the game. 
There's a minute 12 left in the third. Muscala the screen. Clock at four. Kuzma. That's good. Now here's Bridges. No points yet. Pass to Watford. Back to Bridges. Down low. Here's Sharp. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First free throw is good. And collectively, as the game has progressed, they've been shooting really well from the charity strike. And the Wizards making a change here. Butler's checked in. Second free throw, no good. Now here's Muscala. He's closely guarded. Kuzma up top. He's marked by Finney Smith. Here's Koulibaly. It's good. Koulibaly's got four points in the quarter. Brooklyn has gone 7 of 15 from distance in this game. Five second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Watford. Pass to Sharp. Down to five on the shot clock. Back to Watford. Bridges outside. Jacks up a three. And at the buzzer! Counted! Just textbook. Kept his cool and waited for his shot. That's exactly how you want to close out the quarter, too, with some confidence. And so it's Brooklyn closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. Getting lots of great looks, shooting it well, that's why they're up. And more NBA action on 2K Sports, coming your way right after this. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Washington Trail. They've got Dorian Finney-Smith. Mikael Bridges is out there with Trendon Watford. Then it's Royce O'Neal, and it's Sharp in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. Here's Koulibaly. Here's Kispert. Four on the clock. Kuzma for three. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll head to the line for three. That's on Dorian Finney-Smith. Three shots. Three shots. He misses the free throw. the second one and he 
And he nails the third. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for the Nets. Leading by five. To the middle. Ooh, it's stolen away. Outside Butler. Kuzma outside. The three-pointer off the mark. Yeah, the three-pointer has not been his weapon in this one. He had one in the first quarter and still zero here in the second. There's a screen. Here's Bridges. The rebound by Muscala. Muscala's got four rebounds in the game. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. This is when your interior D has to be on high alert. Timeout called. Brooklyn. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Jacques Vaughn coaching his team during the break. He was clapping in the huddle, saying to his guys, loving the effort right now, keep the intensity on them. Leave no doubt in their mind that this game is ours. Guys, back to you. As always, Allie, we thank you. And Bridges really likes to get to the interior and earn himself some opportunities from the charity strike. Good from Bridges. And one of the better defenders in the league, Grant, Mikhail Bridges. He'll lock you down. Oh, he will be a often matched up against the opponent's best scorer. And he is just so fierce. But he also helps you generate offense, hitting threes and extending the defense to create room to operate. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Two possession game now, but he'd still like to have back that one he missed. Who's watching here? Kuzma, the pass to Butler. The three. It's Kuzma with the miss. The Nets with the lead. Pass to Bridges. Over Kuzma. And the basket by Bridges. Well, not a single point in the first quarter, but he's found his game, and you can tell he's got a bit of his swagger back. Kuzma outside. Knocks it down from distance. Kuzma's got five points in the quarter. And trying more and more to utilize the three-pointer. It's a good idea. That's his second three of the game. One in each half. Watford inside. Back to Finney Smith. Fires for three. Kispert grabs a miss. Washington's gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Fourth quarter of play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. Got a piece of it. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. That's on Mikhail Bridges. good on the free throw. Claxton, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Gafford, he's checked in for Washington. And the second free throw is good. And they need to play good defense here. That trip to the line helped and hurt. Inside, here's Penny Smith. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. 
He's undersized for a four, but his hops level the playing field. Fourth quarter keeps moving along. Three minutes gone by now. Pass to Kispert. On the wing, Kuzma. Just five on the clock. Oh, they get a hand on it. And it's stolen by Finney Smith. Watford the pass to Bridges. Back to Watford. Knocks it loose. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. Butler surveying the floor. Pass to Kuzma. And the call is going to be, yes, an illegal screen. And let's see what the Brooklyn Nets have coming up. On Monday, they head out on the road to face the Kings in Sacramento. And then on Wednesday, they'll be playing against Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns. And for their matchup with the Nuggets, it's the second game of a back-to-back, -back, so you know there'll be some heavy legs out there. Playing that much basketball in that short amount of time really takes its toll on your body. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Kuzma outside. And Claxton comes to help. And the dunk by Gafford. What a feed from Kuzma. I like it when he finds the open man, and so do they. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for Brooklyn. To the inside. Here's Watford. Rebound by the Wizards. Gafford finds Kuzma. Six on the shot clock. The three is up. And the dunk by Gafford. A strong finish to cut into that lead a little. Man, left no doubt with Allen Grant. The Nets have gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. Bridges passes to Watford. Back to Bridges. The ball's knocked loose. Here's Butler. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. That's on Dorian Finney-Smith. on the first. Some changes for Brooklyn. Johnson, he's checked in for Finney Smith. Thomas comes in for Watford. And it's Dinwiddie in for O'Neal. Avdia, he's checked in for Washington. Jordan Poole comes in for Kispert. And he sinks the second. Just a tough miss at the line. They're down two baskets now. The Nets with the lead. Bridges outside. Pass to Claxton. Here's Thomas. Screen by Claxton. Bridges outside. Four on the clock. Screen by Claxton. He shoots it. And the basket by Bridges. And the Nets lead by six. More signs of Bridges 
hard work in the offseason paying off in his jump shot. Here's Poole. Ooh, Poole. Nice touch. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater, boy, those sure are pretty. Pass to Claxton. Here's Thomas, guarded by Poole. Thomas passes to Dinwiddie. Now here's Bridges. He's covered closely. No good with the triple. For Washington, they've gotten five of their seven shots to fall in this final quarter. Poole with a ball. Back to Kuzma. Gafford against Johnson. Poole for three. Dinwiddie with a rebound. Brooklyn has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Bridges outside. Pass to Thomas. Here's the three. Rebound Washington. I'm not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. There's the screen by Kuzma. Poole with the ball. Fires the three. And a great assist by Butler as that one goes. Now just a one-point Brooklyn lead. Well, he now has four three-pointers this game, guys. Two in each half. He's really spacing out the floor for his teammates. Thomas passes to Claxton. Back to Thomas. Lays it up and banks it in. Thomas has got 23. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. Dinwiddie against Butler. Down low. Poole left side. Back to Butler. Shoots from 14. Yes! And the foul! It's on Nick Claxton. And despite the defender's length, he goes right up from the mid-range. I don't think he sees any kind of defense when he's at that range. It doesn't matter who's guarding him. Free throw is off from Butler. And so it's Johnson with it. He brings it up for Brooklyn. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Now here's Claxton. He's guarded by Gafford. Thomas misses. Now he'd love to make them pay for giving up that wide open jumper. Just unable to do so. Cool against Dinwiddie. Now here's Poole. Not a lot of room. Pass to Kuzma. Dinwiddie on the double team. Poole from long range. The offensive rebound. Kuzma uses the glass on the layup. Kuzma's got 11 points here in the second half. And Kuz on the cruise with that bucket. Now Dinwiddie. Here's Thomas. Bridges outside. Screen by Claxton. Releases. They get it again. And there's the bucket. Staying with it that time. Offensive glass getting it done. Tremendous momentum building toward those final possessions. Yeah, with eight lead changes so far, it feels like this is going to come down to the last shot. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. Jones, he's checked in for Washington. Kuzma outside. Back to Jones. The kick out to Poole. Outside Jones. From outside the arc. And the dunk by Gafford. Yeah, undersized guys with athleticism do these kind of things, playing above the rim. Love to see him get up like that. 
Claxton up top. Back to Dinwiddie. That shot off. Jones with some nice D. And Washington with possession. They're on a 16-6 run. Bridges on the double. Avdia from outside. Hits a three-pointer. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Now here's Johnson. Poole brings a double team. And here's Dinwiddie from the arc. And that bucket makes him 6 for 10 in the contest. And just a huge answer right there with a three of their own. And the crowd now is in a frenzy. Poole outside. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Wow, and that's a big splash from Poole. Let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Wizards. What a performance for Beyond the Arc in this game. They stuck to their guns, and it's paid off all game. We probably have to touch on as well that tonight their penetration has been awesome. I mean, they put force on this game, attacking off the bounce, and the willingness to do that has paid off. With the big time man one, <laughs> this is now a two possession game. Here's Thomas, guarded by Poole. Thomas passes to Dinwiddie. Pass to Claxton. Five on the clock. From deep, Johnson. Oh, he drains the three, good. and he'll go to the line for Hit. one more. One shot. That'll belong to Kyle Kuzma. Free throw drops for Johnson. That's exactly what this team needs right now. Completing the end one. And here's Poole. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And everybody could probably sit down and relax because Jordan Poole led the league from the free throw line in the 2021-22 season. He should be money. And so he drops them both, and it's a two-point ball game. And you just have to understand that hours and hours of practice mean that clutch free throws become easy. Timeout called, the Nets. They're trailing by two. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. There's 53 seconds left in the game. Here's Thomas, guarded by Poole. 14 feet away, Claxton. And it's good! A huge shot to tie it up! Wow, that takes steady nerves right there. <laughs> Not backing down from this moment here. When the game is close, he kicks it up a notch. Now here's Poole. Outside Jones. And Claxton comes to help. Here's Gafford. Money! Good passing to set that up. Teamwork on display. Timeout called. Brooklyn. They trail by two. 
And we've got 28 seconds left in the game. There's a four second difference from the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Thomas, guarded by Poole. Thomas misses, and now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. And a smart choice right there. I mean, you can't allow them to just drain the clock. the first one and that makes it a three-point lead and he hits both free throws here and it's a four-point ball game and just like that this game is a two possession affair and not a moment to lose on this possession time is not on their side right now they're aware three-pointer bridges Brings him within one. Now we've seen Bridges' offense take a considerable leap, change of scenery. This guy getting assertive and attacking is a good thing. And now they foul and stop the clock. up two. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a three-point game. That last one was a difference maker. It pushed it from a two-point lead to three. Johnson for three. The three won't fall. So it's a narrow victory for the Wizards, pulling out the W. And this was an emotional win for them. No doubt about it. <laughs> just a fantastic accomplishment. You love how they just diffuse the energy in this arena. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Brent Berry, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching tonight's game. As we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Tyus Jones.